Hi friends and welcome to Brick House Bones episode 26. I've got an extra special episode for you. A complete full body beginners workout with four new Brick House Bones exercises. So if you're relatively new and trying to figure out what's a nice routine that I can start with that I know is going to make a difference, this is one for you. So we've got four new exercises today in the Brick House Bones fashion where we work on strength, balance, posture, and impact. So for our strength exercise, we're working on a chest press. We're doing balance with some forward and backward reaching. We're doing a leg press to build our posture. And we're working a shuffle exercise for that power and speed component of brick house bones. All of this is able to be adjusted to your level of ability. So please join me. I'm Dr. Lisa. I'm a physical therapist and a specialist in exercise for osteoporosis and cancer. So if you're trying to recover from either one of those things, you are in the right place. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would be most grateful if you would. I try to provide as much free content as possible to support you. So please like, watch, share in your groups and let others know that are looking for this information just like you. So what do you need for today's workout? Well, we're going to, I'm going to use a mat. You can use your bed if you're not able to get on and off the floor easily. I have a mat and I have some weights. Now you can use no weights if you're just starting out and you want to try this exercise without weights, that's fine. You can use one pound weights, two soup cans, water bottles, one to three pounds, whatever feels best for you. You can start at a very approachable level. And then as you get stronger, you can progress that, but don't feel intimidated by needing a lot of weight for today's session. All right, let's get a little warm up going. So we're moving slowly and intentionally here, working on that nice tall posture with a big reach up. Exhale, bring those arms down. We want to establish full length in our body, length in our spine, full reach in all directions. So we don't slowly collapse and get shorter over time. So we actually need to practice these fully extended positions. Good. Now let's work a little weight shift here with the hips. We'll do some hip circles one direction and then the other direction. We're just loosening up the joints that we're going to work with today. This is a great little program. Good. Next up, we'll bring the knee up and the hands up, press the knee down and the hands down, shift your weight to the other leg, knee up and hands up, leg down, press it down. Turn those palms, shift and lift. There we go. Getting a little balance in. This isn't a new one, but we're adding it in. We can always work balance. And if doing your hands like I'm doing it is too unsteady for you, if you need one hand on the back of a chair over counter, that's just fine. Use support if you need it, but it's good if you're a little bit challenged. As long as you can create some safety for your body, you are doing what's best for you today. Great. Now we'll work a little side to side reach. So step, reach and come back. Step, reach and come back. Functional movements, things that we do on a regular basis. We don't even realize it. We're reaching into a cupboard, the back of a closet, reaching in our car for something. We're often doing that, but we often do it like this or like this instead of step and reach step and reach okay nice work let's go up on the toes back down lift the toes rocking back and forth warming up those ankles again if you're holding on to the counter while you're doing this that's okay no problem as you get better, you will find that you're able to need less and less support over time. That's the whole point, that your balance improves. Okay, let's warm up our backs and our back body with our hip hinge. We're gonna, I have my hands on my hips here and I'm literally pulling the hips back 
as I reach my head forward. And my knees are soft. I'm not bending them a lot, but they're not locked straight. And then I stand back up. So this is a back body exercise. It helps strengthen the muscles in our spine. And I want to give you a cue here. As you're in this position, the center of your chest should be aiming up versus aiming down between your feet. So think about this light, your heart light, I call it, in the center of your chest, trying to aim that heart light towards the wall in front of you. You do not need to crank your neck. You can keep your chin tucked, so then your neck is happy too. Okay, so there's your cues for this exercise. Long spine, reaching the hips back, slightly soft knees. This is called a hip hinge motion. And if you've watched any Brickhouse Bones episodes, you've heard this a lot. This is how we want to bend, bending at the hips with a long spine to help protect our spines. Okay, let's go into a little bit of a warm up here for our hip flexors. So put one foot forward with a bent knee, other leg is back and pretty straight. And then we'll reach up, leaning forward and come back down. You can press that knee straight, bend the front knee, reach up, big full body stretch here. Press it back. Good, one more, big reach. Lift the heart. Good, press it back down. Step that foot back. You can shake it out a little bit if you need to. We are doing the same thing on the other side. So other leg is forward with a bent knee. Back leg is straight. Again, big reach up, lifting the heart. Coming back, this front knee gets to go straight as you come back, reaching forward. Good, push it back again, working on that length. The more we repeat it in more different ways, the likely it is we are to stay nice and tall. Good, excellent. Okay, so here's our balance exercise today, and it may or may not be challenging for you. We want the feet nice and close together, and we wanna practice forward and backward reaching. So a reach, so the hips go back, the arms go forward, and then I stand back up, arms reach back as far as they can go. You do not need to do a big back bend if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, but just really reach the hands back as far as they can. Now be careful that your head doesn't go with you in your backwards reach. This is the mistake I see a lot of people make. So as you reach back, reach back with those arms, but keep that head out front. Make sure you don't lose your balance backwards. Have a chair or something, a counter as a safety for you behind you if you need it. Okay, so feet are close together. We're reaching the hips back with a straight spine. Arms reach forward as far as possible. Good. We reach back as far as possible. Reach forward. We reach back. So we're weight shifting on top of our feet with a big, big reach in the forward and back direction, making sure that we can maintain our center of balance on top of our feet when we're reaching. We do this all the time in regular life. You can maybe feel your toes digging in and gripping as you reach forward. Maybe you feel more pressure on your heels as you reach back. Your ankles are working to maintain your balance. Good job. All right, so our next exercise is our speed or power component of brick house bones. And today's exercise is a shuffle. And what that shuffle looks like for me, and I just watch this, that's shuffling the feet side to side. And we're going to do four laps of that. Down and back is two, down and back is four. Now your shuffle may look like this, and that's okay. You do the speed that you can do safely, back and forth, working in a side to side motion. Maybe you get a couple of quick ones and the rest are slow. That's all right, work on wherever you are and we'll build from there. Take your time with this, but we're doing a side to side shuffle. If this is in your wheelhouse, here we go. Shuffle, there's two, three, we'll meet you back in the center. 
four. All right. So that is speed and agility and quickness, quick quickness and moving side to side. And that lateral movement, super important for protecting our hips and the bones in our hips. So that's a great, great one. We're going to be moving down to the mat or to your bed, wherever you need to be. We're working on a leg press next. We'll warm up the legs and spine a little bit. So being on your back, if you feel like your chin is really reaching for your head to get to the floor, please prop up your head with a small towel, just enough so that you can bring your chin back to level and your eyes looking straight up. Please have your knees bent and your feet flat on your mat or floor, palms up, tuck the wings back together in your upper shoulder blades. And then let's start with just extending the right leg out, pull the toes back, brace through your core, brace through your middle belly as you return that leg to its original position. So we don't often think that we need to use our core in this instance, but we absolutely do. Bracing this noodle is all about what happens when we're moving our arms and our legs. Let's extend the left leg out. Press the heel as far away from you as possible while pulling the toes back towards you. Good, brace the belly button in towards the spine as you return that leg. Good, let's extend the opposite, opposite arm and leg now. Right leg, left arm, reach. Reaching as far away from each other as possible. Full breath here. Brace through the belly, pull that belly button in. Bring each arm and leg back. We'll do the other, the left leg, the right arm, extend fully. Feels so good to get this length in our bodies, this openness, this spaciousness. Brace through your core and return. Excellent. So we're again, we're snuggling those shoulder blades back together in the spine can kind of shift your hips if you need to, to find that comfortable position. And we're going to extend the right leg out long with the toes back and the heel down. And this leg press exercise is a postural exercise to help turn on the muscles in your back, in your hip, in the back part of your body. And we do that by pressing the heel down into the mat, creating tension in the back of the leg for five seconds and then we relax it. So we're going to do five of those on each leg. So maintaining this palms up position in the upper body, press the right heel, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Press, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Press, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Two more, folks. Press that heel down. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Last one. Press. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Brace through the middle body. Bring that leg back. Let's grab underneath that knee. Give a little bitty stretch to that hip, hugging it into the chest. Good. Press that heel up. Lower it back down, nice hug there, and put it back. Good. Same, same. Other side, extend the left leg out straight. Pull those toes back towards you. Press that left heel in for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. You may find, press, that one leg is stronger than the other, and that's completely normal. Relax. Press. Five, four, three, two, one. There. Two more. Press. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. This is definitely my less coordinated, less strong side. Last one. Press. Five, four, three, 
two, one, relax. It's kind of funny. It just feels completely different than the other side. It's how we have our patterns and how we favor certain things, or maybe we had an injury. I did have an injury on that side. So just how our bodies adapt. Giving that knee into the chest hug, pressing that heel up, getting the back of the hamstring good, putting that back down. All right, so we're gonna work the chest press. This is our last exercise in this routine, and we're gonna combine it with a bridge. So the bridge movement is gonna be the heels and the whole foot pressing down on the floor to lift the hips up into the air as high as you can get them. And then as you lower the hips down, once they're down, we're going to do a chest press. So you can do this with no weights. Elbows are going to be on the floor. We'll do a bridge lower press if you have your weights grab them now so hands are going to be elbows just a little bit away from the body i've got about a 45 degree angle where i've turned the weights with the palms down you can just keep them palms facing each other if you like that's okay let's bridge those hips up lower back down press it up lower back down we're taking our time here Bridge, working the back body with the bridge. Press, working the front body with the press. So that press bridge is the strength for opening heavy doors, pushing things open. It's also the strength for pushing our body weight up off the floor or up out of bed. Very important strength to have. And we're giving upper body strength. So strength through our bones and our wrists and our upper arms. Bridge. And lift. It is my goal to really have very balanced exercise programs for you. Balanced exercises that address all of you. Not just the hips, not just the spine, but just how our whole system works together. Press. And how we use that strength to do the things we need to do and do the things that we love to do every day. As you would expect, I have no idea what number we're on. That's okay. We're going to do one more. And press. Bring it back. Keep the weights close to your body as you lower them back down. Good. Coming onto your side, hands and knees, up to standing. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this week 26 complete workout brick house bone style for osteoporosis and strong bones, strong bodies, and a stronger life. I'll see you next week.